Hello traders, this is D7 with free trading videos. This is the weekend edition. And the markets ended on Friday mix. And the S&P daily, we have this head and shoulder reversal pattern. We did break out of this little triangle formation. Now we're down here making a low base. Things are looking weak. MACD had this bearish divergence. We went below the zero line. We came up the zero line, acted as resistance, and we're heading down right now. There is a chance that we could see it cross over. That would bring a histogram tick to the positive side. So let's watch that. Here's the weekly. Here's the weekly on the S&P. And we have started our down leg on the weekly. Now what is very interesting here is we have released ourselves from this upper trend line. This trend line goes back here, the May 08 to about August 08, and we follow that down and it acts as perfect resistance again. <clears throat> and here we have some space where we have released from this line. If we really blow this up quite a bit, those trend lines that I draw in last weekend, look at this. Comes down, we tagged this trend line perfectly right there, which puts us as 870. 870 was a major support area, and I called that last week, and we touched that and did a touch and go. And then we closed right here around that. 880 mark you can see that I mean just perfect trend lines here that work so nicely the MACD rolling over the histogram tick to the negative side and it looks like it's wanting to cross if we cross below in that negative territory that could spell doom here on the markets and on the weekly chart man we could come right down we have a 20 week moving average coming up at 863 ish area. No, it actually has this at 860. 860 on the nose. Here's the monthly. The monthly, we're not done with July yet, but here's what we do have we have a lower high and a lower low. This is the beginnings of a, a big time down leg. I am looking for that to take place now. The question is, is will we continue down? If you have a lower high and a lower low after an up leg, we had our doji, a chance of a reversal. I'm telling you right there, that's an ominous look on the monthly. You cannot ignore this. This is big time bearish. You can see a big red leg developing here. The MACD stays in negative territory. We come up and look at our two lines starting to come together with a dissipating positive tick on the MACD. This could tick to the negative side causing a crossover here and then a down leg developing. That monthly looks very ominous, very bearish to me. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. This thing has this triangle come up. We bust it down, bust it down. Here's the daily. These lines that I had drawn from last weekend, look how perfect these two lines. I mean, go back to the um, weekend edition last weekend, watch those that video, and see precisely where these lines are drawn. Look how perfect we developed here. This is called a low base, a low base pattern these are bearish go to the chart school at freetrainingvideos.com and go look for low base and you'll see this type of formation this is certainly more bearish than it is bullish the macd is to the negative with a um a histogram tick to the negative but it's dissipating we could go positive here it looks like we're wanting to roll over and head north so this is a t i mean this is a very important time on the nasdaq i think this next week it will make its mind up what it wants to do here's the weekly rising wedge bearish formation this week just as expected lower high lower low finding support at the 50 week moving average if we bust below that the 20 week moving average to put us around 1663 so this is looking bearish we are sitting at some support here's the weekly the weekly is still positive we have a tick to the negative and we're heading southbound and here is the monthly what I did here is I have this fib drawn to it and the fib comes up around the 50 and now on the monthly the NASDAQ has given us now remember July is not over with yet so this candlestick is not yet static 
still dynamic, still moving. So, but if this were to be the end of July, this would be an engulfing reversal pattern, which is bearish, and we would expect a leg down. Let's look at the Russells. On the daily, all the moving averages are right up here. The only moving average that's in play right now is this 200-day moving average, which is acting as support. We broke out of the triangle, we head down, we could, I could very easily see a little up leg here on the daily. We have, we're down negative, but the daily looks like it's wanting to tick to the positive here on the histogram and get a turnover and then a run, a rise here on the MACD. Here's the weekly, tells us a different story. We have a rising wedge breakdown for the first time. Now check this out. We have released from this upper trend line. We hit the line, hit the line, hit the line, hit the line, hit the line. We missed the line. We have a lower high, lower low. That's bearish. We, we Check this out. Negative ticks on the MACD, and we're even touching the line. We could be crossing over in the negative territory very soon. We do have support right here. It looks like at 468 area, 468 on the Russells. So be watching that on the weekly. And then here's the monthly. The monthly, let's open this up a little bit, pull it up. Right here, lower high, lower low, but the month isn't done yet. But this is bearish, bearish, bearish if it states anything like this. We already have a lower high or a lower low. The question is, will it stay a lower high also? So this looks bad, bad, bad. This got right here to this 38.2 area. And a lot of support area down here. And I've got those drawn from way back. So the markets, there you have a recap on them. I want to tell you something. PayPal is back up. Woohoo! They've been down for a few days. They wanted to verify a few things when they seen the flood of people come in for the V newsletter. What is the V newsletter? It's simply this. It's a it's where Matador and myself, we huddle up every weekend and we go over our own picks for the week. We want you all to have that opportunity to go over what we're looking at. These picks are looked at fundamentally. First, pre-qualified, there's over 16 points of critical data that we go over for the fundamental bull list and a plethora of them on the bear list also. First, we show you all the lists and then use videos to search each and every one of them. And let me show you um, what you get here. I'm just gonna take you over here to the screen. This is free trading videos. And you have to first make sure you log in. After you log in, what you want to do is click on this link right here. When you click on this link, that will bring you to uh, the V Newsletter. V Newsletter for the week July 6th to the 10th. A brand new one will be out. That'll be Saturday the 11th, at least by that night. This happens to be a 21-minute video on what we are doing. And we traded a lot of these trades this week. Uh, and if you click on the comments, and you can kind of go through here and see you know what people are saying here uh, this is a rock solid list and um, people greatly appreciate this and there's even some talk in going in and doing a a private forum and if you want a part I can't believe how many comments are here for the week um, so if you want to participate we're gonna open it up and um, We'll probably go until, oh boy, what should I do here? I'm gonna say Wednesday midnight. On this coming Wednesday by midnight, the deal is over. It goes to about 50 bucks a month after that. If you pay up front, or if you just wanna do it now and you're locked in for life, it's $33. Where you can save yourself about $70 a month even from that and just pay up front at $326 and get the full year for $326, it's a steal. So if you want it, great. If not, no big deal. It's there. If you want to trade along with us, look over our shoulder and see what we're trading. Make Go out there and make yourself some money. Remember, get yourself educated. The byproduct of that is profits.